Hey guys, what's up and welcome to another episode of Brew and Build. Today we are doing a little world tour and I gotta say I'm really excited to be back in the town of Moore. It's a fun place to be and uh, we are here starting it off um, and I thought it would be really fun but definitely uh, check out the end of the video as well because there are new things in the town of Sarthal that... Uh, we will get to, uh, of course, at the end of the video, um, and because that's we're gonna end in Sarthal, um, and I'm I'm excited. I'm excited to show you. I think you're gonna really really like it. Uh, a couple things that I, or well, maybe one one thing that I wanted to point to, like say, right at the beginning of this is, I would love if you um, want to participate in a Q and A. Um, for next episode, I would love to have a little bit of a Q and A. Uh, because we've got some small grinding to do and instead of doing just like a musical time lapse I figured we could do a time lapse where we uh, do a little bit of a question and answer session um, So if you want to participate in that feel free to leave a comment um, And you could use I don't know say do like I don't know hashtag Q&A or something like that um, And that'll be very helpful for me uh, to keep track of all those so that'd be really awesome if you want to do that so we are in the town of Moore, and if you are new here and you don't know what this is, this is our Hobbit Swamp Town. And as you can see, very swampy. There are a few weird things like this um, I used in the trailer for uh, being on the realm of Bastin. Um, and uh, yeah, there's a few weird things. End rods, those are lanterns in Jermsey Boys pack. Uh, so there's a few weird things sitting around. Um, but for the most part, it's all pretty much the same. And to start things off, I think we should look at this house. This is the very first house that we made in this world. We spawned like right over there next to a lava pool. And uh, I got to say, this little house is uh, not one of my favorites, but it's a pretty it's pretty close. It's a pretty uh, nice little house we've got going on here. Um, a very simple interior, and I think it's pretty fun. Actually, we have a lot of food in here, don't we? Yeah, we have food. Okay, well, not a lot, uh, but we have some food, um, and I think that's fairly fun. Also, more end rods, and they don't really stick out that bad. This is our first set of armor, and uh, I'm never going to hopefully have to wear this again. And then I actually kept some of the armor that uh, for the... Again, Jermsey Boy, little, uh, not Jermsey Boy, for the Vastin little thingy that we did. Uh, Captain Porkers is still right here, and uh, he and I went on quite the adventure, didn't we? Um, and yes, so I've kept a few things uh, for that. And yeah, there's not going to be too many interiors to look at here. Uh, we've only got a couple. Oh yeah, I forgot I changed the green glass texture. That's what that looks like. That's not bad. Um, and, uh, yeah, this is the main interior, I think, that we've really done in the house, uh, section. <laughs> we've done one whole interior. Whoa, we have maps in here? Wow. Huh. You know, I, that's one thing that I find so interesting is that when we tour around and I find chests and things, it's so interesting to actually discover things that you forgot actually were, like, in chests. All right, sorry about that. Had my alarm go off. It's actually the morning, and uh, my alarm went off. So we are now approaching the uh, dock area, and this is by far my favorite area, I think, of more. Uh, we need to come back through here and actually, like, deck this place out in terms of decorating the underwater area. I think that could be really, really cool. Um... And the dock area, I just really like because we've got a very interesting dock sort of decoration. Uh, we've got a whole bunch of different blocks going on, and I really do think that it, it turned out really, really nice. And intermixing some coarse dirt into the dock has really helped it look very used and dirt and like dirty. Uh, and I think that's very good. We got our little llamas. These guys were actually the first two llamas that I really, really the first two enemy, not enemies, you're not an enemy, I'm sorry buddy, you're not an enemy, these were the first two mobs that we really 
interacted with in this world. You may not, you didn't see it on camera or anything, but they uh, were the first two mobs that I really interacted with. And so that's why I've kept them in a boat. We need to name these guys. If you want to have a llama <laughs> named in your honor, I've got two llamas that need names and uh, that could be good. Um, but yeah, so this is the dock area. Got a whole bunch of storage and stuff here. Oh, I got a sneeze. <laughs> okay, man. Jeez, all sorts of interruptions right now. Um, and the only building that has an interior, I guess uh, technically we've got an interior right over there, but this is our warehouse area, and it looks a little funny because we've got the new coffin texture for Sarthal and all the trap chests. Um, this is actually back when you couldn't place chests uh, next to each other like you can now. Um, so you had to place trap chests. And we still have a few things in here and uh yeah we st still got a few resources a few bricks uh ooh, got a good amount of granite that's actually gonna be helpful for our uh, next area got some diorite anything else i don't know i'm not gonna go through here i know we have lots of plants and stuff um well maybe yeah there we are started to, yeah we've got we've got a lot of stuff <laughs> i like the little dead body that i put in there um we have absolutely no valuables at all like nothing okay we have some redstone oh we have lapis yeah our valuables are running pretty low and we don't really have much of anything else but this area um i want to do something similar to this uh in our next city but i want it to be like huge like warehouse massive gigantic sort of like this section is for oakwood and then as we go throughout our series that the goal could be to fill these up so maybe we do like daily one hour not daily but maybe like weekly or daily or by we by daily i don't know uh challenges where we do an hour of just grinding anything in here no i think i cleared that out recently uh, and I'm sure this goes to a dirt wall. Yes, it does. Um, and yeah, now we're starting to get into the... Hold on, my dog is being silly. All right, sorry about that. Dog wanted out. I uh, don't remember what I was saying, and I also took the time to go and get coffee, and so that is wonderful. Uh, a couple things that uh, we still need to do in this town, and I gotta say, being back here really does inspire... Um, so maybe while we are building our steampunk place and doing grind work, maybe we'll come back here and do a few little odds and end things that we didn't actually uh, have time to do uh, in our time here. I think that could be actually kind of fun because this area is pretty uh, barren and we do need to finish it up. Um, and I really do love this area over here um, because I, if I remember correctly, we were going to do like a customs building right here and because the this dock actually wraps around and uh, one thing that we were going to try and do was connect it up on the other side and have a dock on the other side as well and I think that could be actually pretty fun and we are going to want to sleepy um, so let me sleep and then we can continue this so this is the town square, and this is by far the most unfinished uh, portion of the town of Moore. Actually, I say that, but we have that entire area over there as well. Um, and this was an idea that we had, and I gotta say, it's it's quite a cool idea. I do really, even though this, this kind of doesn't match the style, I do really love this build. Um, I think this is one of my favorite builds i don't know why but i do think that it is pretty nice over here we were i was gonna start expanding uh and doing more stand-up buildings but i think we're gonna have to go away from this and go back to uh over in at the uh mill area go back to that palette because this this wool stuff is not doing it for me but anyways this is the bell tower there is not really anything in particular about this that is like wondrous um but it is a really fun build and i really do love it um we built this area so this used to have a hill that went and actually like wrapped up 
to the top of the build that building right there and uh, instead of keeping the hill we decided let's turn it into this giant walkway and I gotta say I really do love how this walkway I think this is one of my favorite parts of the city because this is such a, a kind of a unique um, build build that we've done um, it's a just an under the walkway sort of uh, marketplace and I really do love uh, marketplaces they're so fun they're really colorful and really nice and you can have some fun experimenting around to try and make some fun ones we did some simple stuff with like tools and seeds and do these chests have yeah these chests have seeds in them ha huh. some I sometimes run out of seeds oh my gosh this has stuff in it too wow we need to come back here and like loot all the chests I try and clean up chests before I leave places but inevitably I miss some See, look at that. Perfectly good stone hoe. But this is a quite a nice place. Ooh, we should change that out because not all of these are actually, like, actually, these all might be jack-o'-lanterns because th this is back when, before Minecraft had regular, ja had, like, regular pumpkins. Um, and, yeah, that's interesting. Uh, if we go on in here, uh, do we want to go in here? Let's go in the front door. Last time I did a world tour, we went in there. Let's go in the front door. So this is the uh, sort of like the town hall. And uh, I do really love the town hall. I think it's nice. Pardon the floors. This this works well when you're... It doesn't look awful right now. But it works much better um, when you have B-dubs's uh, white brick texture and the white cobblestone texture. It's uh, much, much nicer looking. Uh, it intermingles a little bit better with the bone block as well. Also, the birch leaves, because we made such a drastic change, they are no longer uh, like this anymore. So that's okay. But this is kind of just the town hall area where the village people can uh, come and the elders can give their little spiels and be like, this is the new rule, haha, -ha, laws, and uh, that's it. pretty much it. <laughs> um, we've got a little library here, a uh, fun little library to do in a very tight space. I think it's, it worked out really nicely. Rando map, uh, that used to be a jukebox, but now we don't have a jukebox anymore, which is great because that texture is... Uh, very nice to have a barrel. Uh, we need to go back through and change this stuff out for uh, probably just spruce or something. We originally had a uh, kind of an oak trapdoor um, texture that is now our birch. Um, this fireplace, I do really love this fireplace. I don't know why, but I just really love it. I really think it's nice. Um, this is the meeting area for all for the uh, town elders. And they can be back here and deliberate on things and all that sort of fun stuff. Probably should change that painting as well. <laughs> Don't need frying pans and stuff. Um, but we'll leave it for nostalgic sake, nostalgia's sake. This area is actually a suggestion by one of you. Um, you had uh, wanted a uh, sort of a place where you could buy land. And so this is sort of the land deed area. And this is the, the map of the land stuff that you can build. And you, as you can see, this area is quite big. I mean, we did this wall all the way ac around. And this wall was painful to do, let me tell you. Um, but we still have this whole portion right here to do, and uh, it's uh, it it'll get done eventually, I guess. Um, but this is the land area, the land buying area, just a little back area to keep all the documents and stuff. I think it turned out really nicely. Need to get some cobwebs. Flip had suggested should suggested cobwebs way long ago, and I haven't actually done that. Need to do that. Let us move on. If we go up here, it's just an exit, and uh, we can get to this uh, big expansion area that we made. And uh, this is just on top. This is why I love the town of Moore. Like, look how pretty this is with all the various colors and flowers. This swamp is not supposed to be like a barren swamp or anything. It's supposed to be like a fun, fantastical, lush swamp, and I really do love uh, what we've done. It, it gets dirty because it's muddy and stuff, but it also can be very, very pretty, and I really do like it. Um, <laughs> I think I had put a dead coral on there just to look like smoke, 
Uh, I'm just going to get rid of that because that's silly. Also, why is there a hopper? I don't remember what I was thinking, but we'll leave it. Now we're getting into the more residential side of things. So I do think it's this is kind of a, a going to be a quicker portion of the tour because it's uh, all pretty much the same. Uh, this bridge is not my favorite bridge, but that's okay. We've got little uh, houses here. This was a, a fun challenge to do is how to figure out how to do stand-up houses that don't actually like... They, they look like hobbit houses, but they're actually like stand up, oh, not like a part of the earth sort of buildings. And, uh, and I do like what it's turned out to be. Uh, I do think it's fun. Now we do have this little town area over here that I think has uh, probably it is my favorite part of the residential side of things just because it's so quaint and fun. Um, we've got one interior fully done, very just small dirty insides, things of that nature. It's pretty fun. Um, but yes, this was a fun expansion to do. This is where I started actually like experimenting a bit around with like dips in the land just to give a little bit of atmosphere. And I, I really do like it. Uh, speaking of atmosphere, we've got this whole terraforming portion right here. Uh, this used to all be land uh, and or a lava pool like somewhere in there. Uh, now it is this, and I gotta say, with the new coarse dirt texture, I like it even more. It's muddier looking, and I, I think it goes well with like our soul sand and our path block. Uh, really do love this. I think this has turned out really, really nice. Uh, it's arduous, but it's worth it. Uh, we got a nice big wheat field there, uh, but you have seen wheat fields. This is probably one of the best videos uh, that I made, is the water mill sort of thing. Um, not my original design. Uh, well, the building is the um, water wheel itself is not my 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 design. Uh, this was made by Almost Addicted Gaming, I think, um, and I uh, kind of just took it from there. Uh, granted, with our texture pack and stuff, it's a little different. Looks a little uh, dirtier, but it's pretty nice. Inside actually is pretty cool as well uh, because you've got like a. I tried to make it as functional as possible so you've got an area where you can put uh, wheat in up there and then it gets ground down and then that's about as real as it gets because i don't really know <laughs> where the wheat goes it just falls on the floor honestly but we have plenty of seeds here and we have plenty of wheat here and we do have this fun area which has a stupid uh, way of uh you know well this grows. Oh, I forgot. This is in spawn chunks. This is fun. It, they finally fixed the bug. And so watch this. <laughs> eh, that's funny. Um, now I have to replant this. So hold on. I'll be back. I'm going to I'm going to replant this. So we always have wheat. All right. Nice and planted. And uh, yeah, I think the last build that we're really going to look at is uh, the Enchanters area, and I, I, we've got this, and it's got a fun basement, but we'll, we'll, we don't have to explore every niche thing. Um, and this, if you, this house here is where you get into the end portion of things, and this is my favorite Hobbit house. This just strikes me as a Hobbit house. Like, this is, like, quintessential. Um, but inside of this is not done, um, because we have this area here. Not done, but you know what? That's okay. We have plenty of bad enchanted books. We have an enchanting area right here. And uh, do we have... We have a lot of this. I have a spare elytra. Actually, we have two spare elytras. I went and got two extra ones because of the one time that we died because Emma got in a car crash. Um, and then I was like, I just want spare elytras so I don't have to worry about that too much. Um, this is just a fun nether portal that it's like kind of coming out of the area of this place. But if you go into the nether and head down, you spawn here. And if you head down this hallway here, you'll make it to the gypsy camp. This goes to a jungle and this goes to the gypsy camp. And, uh, yeah, honestly, Holy, this goes to the jungle. I haven't been to the jungle in probably like a year or half a year. I, or, well, that's a big jump. Um, 
and this goes to our, our skeleton farm. And uh, yeah, I'm going to see you over at the gypsy camp because I don't feel like you want to see the nether. All right, we are here in the gypsy camp. And I got to say, the gypsy camp is definitely really high up there on my one of my favorite places. Granted, we only have three, so it's not that hard to pick from right now, but when we get more, it's going to be more difficult. Uh, I love this entrance right here. I think this looks great. Gypsy Camp, in terms of atmosphere, I think is my favorite because it's it's so atmospheric. I mean, we've got basically the builds, not much to look at because they all look the same. <laughs> But we've got little shops and stuff here. This is our very, 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 very first caravan, and uh, it's it's a fun one. I do like it. All the interiors of, well, okay, maybe not all of them, but most of these are done because the interiors are not hard. Uh, they're very small. But we've got a fun little area here. This is kind of the residential portion of things, and it's, it's quite fun. We've got a little bathhouse. No, it's not a bathhouse, I guess. It's a... a, a a bathhouse for clothes, um, and you you can uh, boil water here on the, on the magma magma blocks and clean all these. And uh, I gotta tell you, this costs so much wool. Banners are stupid with the amount of wool, like absolutely dumb. Uh, threw some corals and made some nice little pondage area here, and I think that's quite fun. And we've got nether wart growing all over the place because this is a fun fantastical area and i think that the nether wart adds a lot i added the new nether wart texture in uh the newest one i think and uh, i do like it i like the it going back to its roots being a little bit more bulbous at the top i do think that works well um, we do still have a few little odds and ends to finish here as well we've got a couple caravans that's supposed to be like the main entrance but we kind of shifted the main entrance over there this area is built all around this lake here, and I gotta say, I love this. We also need to clean this up, but I do like it for, because this is our work area, I do like it to be able to view things because this is such a great view. That is the leader's caravan. We'll check that out last, but I do love this area. This is where I come. If I want to change anything with like path blocks or dirt or anything like that, I come here to look at things because this has so much stuff and it'll go, if it goes well here, it's probably going to go well most everywhere else. Um, we've just got fun camp areas. Uh, we've got some tents um, and this is kind of a, an original tent design that I decided to make. Uh, don't have tent interiors. So yeah, we're not good at interiors here on the Pixel Brew channel. Uh, this is just a leader area for uh, a place, a tent for the leader to kind of chill and come down to, um, and I think that's good. This shows just how big the camp actually is. It kind of extends around in the, it's all in here, and it's a pretty, it's a small place, but I think it's fun. Um, over yonder, that is a uh, sort of a, a dining area, a dining caravan, um, and it's, they sell fish, and uh, I, I did this because it kind of looks like a chip and so fish and chips, I don't really know why. I thought that was a fun idea, but it, it, it's a thing. Um, and then this is a kind of an eating dock area. I don't know. It was fun. It's fun to make little things like that. Even has an interior portion. Very fun. Got a little dock here for, sh for uh, fishing and had to actually <laughs> block this off. All the fish always ended up here, and I don't know why, but that's okay. Over here, we've got kind of a, a tree arch, which was interesting, um, but we have the tent area. We never made this a shop, and we meant to, but that's okay. I've got, I made this into sort of a tent section for those of, because the canopy was way too low for caravans, and so we made this more of a tent section over here. So we've got all these colorful different tents, and I think it has turned out very wonderfully. Um, if I believe, if I'm right, we have a pig in here. Yes, we do. Is this Mr. Pickles? Yeah, this is Pickles. Um, got a tent section. I was going to expand it that way. Never got around to it, but that's okay. The tent section is big enough as is right now. Got a fun little shop here. This is a fun way to use mushroom blocks if you uh, didn't know. Um, and if you don't have enough items and item frames and stuff, because we were pretty item poor at this point, um, just uh, put signs up and say that things are coming soon or that they're out of stock and it works well. And then we've got this fun expanded area. 
uh, for the shopkeeper to live. Fun little bridge. You've seen bridges before, though, so we're going to skip on past that and get into this fun area because this is probably the more rushed portion. Um, none of the interiors of these caravans are done. They're more just there for atmosphere in terms of walking around. Um, this is the leader's tent. I really do love this. I think this is quite a cool tent. This, for some reason... People freak out about purple floors, and I, I don't understand, man. It's just a purple floor. If you're going to go purple, you're going to go purple, and you're going to put purple floors down. Now, our wool is a little different. doesn't match perfectly, but I do think that it still looks pretty dang good. Um, this is supposed to be a crystal ball. Um, we were going to put a beacon here, but beacons are hard to get. I don't feel like making another beacon because it's not very fun. Maybe if we made a recipe for... Um, the nether star to be able to get in an easier fashion we could do that um, but at this point I really don't feel like making another beacon for that it would look better but it's okay it's a lot of work uh, if we come down here this is a fun terraforming section really showing off the birch leaves uh, when we did <laughs> that is how poor we were did not have enough oak wood to make apparently a trapdoor um, but didn't actually make this place when we had this this birch uh, leaf texture, but I think overall it still looks pretty good. This is a fun dock section, uh, just a, a nice little dock here because they need some way to trade, um, and so I figured they could do some just like simple uh, dock trading with a, a neighboring town or something. Um, and overall, I think it's pretty nice. Um, this is, it, It's pretty small. It's a small build. We took our time here. Uh, and I think it paid off because we have quite a fun atmospheric area. But uh, the, we have definitely expand, like quickened our pace of things, I guess. Uh, this is just a fun, another area. It, it, I guess this went pretty fast because this area is really more just like a lot of, <laughs> a lot of campsites. What's up here? Nothing. Okay. Uh, this is getting to the leader's caravan, and this is uh, probably my favorite interior that I've done um, because it's weird. It's really, really weird. And uh, that's because it's so tight, super, super tight. Um, we've got a staircase that goes up the middle, and this, this bottom area we're going to need to sleep uh, so let me sleep for a second so it's not as dark in here. There we go. Much better. And uh, it's it's pretty fun. This is more the kitchen area with uh, some furnaces and a sink and stuff. Also storage. Uh, it's very, it's, I don't know, building in small builds like this, this is like a tiny home and you have to make use of every single little nook and cranny. And I think that we did that pretty effectively. This is more the living quarters. Nothing in particular that is uh, crazy here. Um, but we've got a fun little front porch area here too. This was, uh, yeah, this is definitely my favorite interior to build. Um, though some of the interiors in Sarthal are pretty nice. Now we're getting up into, this is where the leader would live. She's got her own little seating area here. Uh, and then she has her little bed here. And then if we go on up here, this is kind of a watchtower that's built into this, um, just to give it a little more palace feel as well. Um, but also, you can see legitimately everything around here. And I think that's pretty cool. And so if we make our way down here, we get to the last portion. And I mean, I guess this, we could show this. This is just a, a cliffside that we made, and that was that, that was fun. Uh, we got a flower shop here, but we're gonna wander our way over to Sarthal. Um, one thing I have yet to do is finish the road between here and Sarthal, and uh, we should do that, but I need more gravel, um, and so maybe we'll do that in kind of a, uh, a time-lapse form. But the road's gonna come this way, uh, we'll do some terraforming and stuff, but the course dirt marks the road. And uh, eventually this will kind of go up here, and it might actually start dipping down around here. Instead of coming up this hill, um, I kind of want it to dip down. And then you get to this view of Sarthal. And yep, 
Zarthal is my favorite place right now. And it, it just looks so cool. I'm pretty sure render distance right now is only at 10. Let's bump that up to 14. Ooh, yeah, there we go. Now you get a cool view of the, of the, of the keep. Uh, some things that I've done off camera now. I know I'm not going to go through this place individually, um, but some things that I did uh, off camera around here was built all the walkways up so you have an easy walk. Um, that actually took a lot more spruce wood than I thought. Uh, finished this field, as you can see, um, or at least finished it for the most part. Uh, finished that wall area, so it's actually like a little bit of a wall. It's nothing special, I will tell you that right now, um, but it is a wall. Like, we aren't finished with this, but this is kind of stuff that I would rather do um, just on my own when I want a, to play Minecraft but not do a ton of stuff. Uh, and then we've got this area here. One of you suggested we make this a pond. And so I made this a fun little pond area, and I really do like it. Put some fishies in here, and I think it turned out great. Um, we are really, I've, I've noticed that we really do love to do <laughs> these uh, really dirty walls, um, but that's okay. This field is the rotation field if you are new um, a, r relatively new to the channel. This is our rotation field. Um, all of these fields are kind of like, this is the potatoes. These are the pumpkins and melons. Um, and then over there is the wheat and beetroot and stuff. And this is a rotation field. So everything kind of grows in here right now. Nothing was really planted. Um, and it's really just to get the soil back up and uh, going because it needs a little rest for the nutrients. The potato field looking swell as always. Same with the pumpkin and melons. This patchy stuff is really nice. Thanks, Mythical Sausage, for actually giving me this idea because that's where I watched your video based on uh, the his video on his little farm area. And... This is the wheat field, and I think it's pretty nice. Um, we've got a little back area here. This is where the lore came into down there. Uh, haven't done a lore video. Would you guys like more lore videos? Like, do you like those? Um, I haven't done them much because we really needed to focus on just building the place up. But this was fun. This has in introduced our um, the, the purple potato, which ha actually does have... A bit of uh, some reintroduction to this area um, as a new thing, um, but the the taint is something that the alchemist is uh, studying and trying to protect this town from. That the king, whoa, sheep, breaking the grass, you jerk. Um, the alchemist has a tower on the other side of there. You can see the little chorus plants right there. Um, alchemist has a tower, and she she is studying the taint that is spreading around here. Um, and I do think that it, it's, it was something that we needed to bring in, but the taint is something is from end exposure. Uh, if you haven't seen that, uh, this is just a beetroot field kind of just walking around. Um, the taint is just a, uh, it's it spawned from the end exposure. If you haven't seen the, uh, lore video, I'll try and remember to link it below. This is, this is a build that we should, uh, take a second to look at because I really do love it. Um, this is our windmill and I, I gotta say, I really, really, really love this windmill style. This was also inspired by Mythical Sausage. Um, the silo looking thing was more my original thought, but the windmill portion itself, the blades themselves were definitely inspired by Mythical Sausage. So don't fall. We've got chicken up here. Ugh. How's it going, Alfred? Good? Good. Glad it's going good. We got a carrot field here. Nothing too crazy, but I think this place looks really nice now that we have this like buildup of town. I think it looks really, really nice. Um, but as I was saying, the taint is simply spread from end exposure, which we'll get into in the very, 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 very last portion of this because we're going to look at the temple uh, at the very end. Um, this is our house currently, and I've gone through the town and added more abandoned buildings. Uh, these front ones are not abandoned. This is our market area. Uh, I think it looks really nice. Really love this well. I think this is a fun little well. Um, but let's actually, let's, let's explore that area first, and then we'll come back down here and explore because I want to end with the cathedral stuff uh so if you go up here this is just a the town portion 
Stupid freaking zombies. I hate them. Uh, this was a fun build style to do. I really did enjoy uh, making these this little town. I think it's pretty fun. Um, got a f cool little gate here. This is pretty fun. And you can see, actually, the jail right there. You can see our little prisoner. And I think that's pretty funny. Um, this is our inn. Uh, pretty fun. I actually did the interior of this one. That's pretty nice. Um, actually, the kitchen looks pretty cool. I do like the kitchen. I think it looks pretty neato. Um, quite a fun thing to do. Fun thing. Inns are actually one of my favorite things to build. Not really sure why, but they're fun. Same with blacksmiths. This was an interesting blacksmith. This is my uh, favorite interior. Uh, not this portion. This is kind of fun, but this is uh, just the blacksmith area. But this interior is just really fun. You've got a downstairs area. There's nothing like designed about it, but it was really nice. I like having walls that actually act as a lining. Um, I think that looks really, really cool. Um, and then you've got this tower area, which is more like this would be like the bedroom. Um, but this I went really ham on this build for some reason. Not really sure why. Same with this one. May went real ham with that. Uh, this is the witch the not witch i guess alchemist witchy tower uh tried to make it look like a, a witch witch kind of tower and i think it looks pretty good didn't look very good at the start because we made the roof in a bad shape but we won't talk about it interior on this is done as well this was quite fun to do um and uh i think it looks overall pretty good did you know that in bedrock edition these sit down on the ground and don't float I can't tell if I like it more that it's it's floating or that it's like that it would sit down. I don't really know. In this area is pretty fun though. This is a fun thing. If you didn't know, you can put uh, the cucumbers, sea cucumbers on the on the cauldrons, and they kind of look like they're being cooked. And then we've got this fun area. Not really sure why she has a dead thing, but this is the taint starting to come into things. Uh, and I think it's pretty fun. I think I do like how this has actually grown. Um, this took a little bit to grow. I didn't really know how they grew, but I uh, did some fiddle faddling around and got it to grow. Now we're going to go up here and we're going to sleep because this has an interior up all, all the way up here. And uh, it's pretty fun, windy and fun, but to get up, but and then she's got some tank growing here as well. Uh, we've got some a peony fla uh, peony field here. And I actually completed the sunflower field. And I got to say, I did it wrong. And I'm slightly upset at myself for doing it wrong. Because the peony fleet field, the grass is where the peonies are. The sunflower field, I put them on the coarse dirt. And I really just don't want to fix that. Because it takes longer than you would think. And it's not terribly fun. We can actually sleep in the inn and go in the upper portion all right moving on we've got the uh flower shop yeah we just looked at that we've, well i guess we've got the clay maker sort of person uh very small shop very small um but these are two suggestions made by you uh this is just a a gypsy that has come over from the gypsy camp and set up shop kind of a fortune teller you can sit down and get your fortune read all that sort of fun stuff um, this is the flower shop. Really do love the flower shop. I think it's pretty cool with all the glass. Uh, got a fun little, little quirk here with our texture pack. Um, the wheat is more than one block tall, but only reads as one block tall. So you can do some fun stuff by putting fences and make it look like hanging flowers or something like that. I think that's a fun thing that we could explore with other textures just to get a little bit of flower pot action going. Um, but that's pretty fun. This, no interior, but as tip as typical per, per pixel broom so if we walk up here you know i didn't really like this that much and i still don't really like it but at this point i'm just gonna leave it because i don't know what else would go there and i think it'd look kind of odd without it um i did add this fun area here just a little sitting area uh to be able to view the whole land um and then a tree that's fun now we're getting into the uh, King's Keep area, and I do really love the interior of this fun door. It's pretty fun. Um, and clean this up some. Still working on it. Need to make this match here. Uh, still working on this, but as you can see, the map looks pretty daggone sick. Let's put that there. Oh my, what is that? Who knows? We'll never know. 
Um, actually, let's do this, and let's do this. There we go. Oh my, what's this? I don't know. Um, this is the King's Keep. This is the throne room, and I really do love how this has turned out as well. I think it looks pretty daggum cool. Really love how the interior of this has um, turned out. It's very, very fun. King will sit here. Uh, and you can come up here to this little sitting area, a little bookshelf, and you can come out to this small little patio place. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, one thing that I did, let's see, how should we do this? Should we go up and then down? Let's go down and then up. So if we come down here, this is the kitchen area. And I got to say, I really love these floors. I really love diorite now, polished diorite with with uh, the coal block. Looks super cool. So we got storage, cool kitchen area, more storage, more storage, cooking. Boom, kitchen tour. You come in here, this is like a freezer. Um, I thought this was a fun idea. I got this from Jermsey Boy, um, and it's a really cool idea. Um, you come down here. This is the bunkhouse area for any uh, guardsmen of the uh, keep can stay and sleep here. And then you come on down here. We'll go there in a second. But this is the jail area, and that's where the zombie is uh, somewhere around here. Well, oh, there he is. He's right there. Um, and this is just a jail area. I thought that was fun. And then we've got the King's Plateau. And this is where we hang out all the time because we're the king and we're awesome. And we got a little seating area here. Got a little fun fire pit seating action sort of thing going on here. Picnic area here. And then he can talk to all his underlings here. I always use the term underlings, but I don't mean it in like a bad... <laughs> I don't mean it in a bad context. Uh, I just mean like his his townsfolk i don't want to say townies because that also has weird implications so yeah i don't know um this area is just kind of a chill room for the king uh during his talking to people um he can just come in here maybe read a book or something like that got books right here uh fun staircase here and this staircase is freaking long i uh, got a door right there boom tour Greatest tour you've ever received in your life. Not that you haven't seen this in the past like three episodes, but for anybody new, they may want to know. This is just the king, where the king would sleep, and uh, it's pretty fun. You got little doors here to view every single area of the key, the uh, sort of, I guess, would this be considered the cat? This is the keep, and would this be considered a castle? Is this like a weird castle? Because it's kind of fortressy. Ooh, oh, we're falling. It's kind of fortressy, honestly. Um, but yeah, let's keep on going. So this is the peony field. This is a fun bridge. And as you can see, finish the walkways. I did what I was going to do. And uh, I think it's pretty fun. Still need to finish the uh, roads putting oak down. But actually did that for a lot of it. Um, we'll get into that in just a second. But... This is where fun new things start appearing. So this is something I had talked about in uh, the very beginning of this build, this town. And the whole premise is that this area got raided by Endermen when the connection was made by King Rayan III. And uh, he basically exposed the world to Endermen and the End. And they that's how the Endermen came to be. And that explains the End portal, why it's there. And that kind of gives explanation to everything. But the end causes end exposure. That's why all the glass up there further away is colorful. This is all purple and tainted. Um, and uh, we've got, this is uh, the god Os kind of resemblance of him. This is god Os. Um, and this is his temple, but it's kind of, it's it's been tainted. It's been turned over. Um, and... Uh, it's, it's, it's pretty cool. I really do love it. But the idea is that some of these buildings are very end exposed, that the people that live in the ones that aren't are actually taking care of it and keeping up with it and battling essentially the taint. And these ones that are not being taken care of are abandoned and becoming tainted. And I really love what this looks like. 
I really, 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 really love what this has turned out to be. I really think they're pretty cool. Let me turn shaders off because the glass you can't really see through and then we'll take a look at it without shaders. All right, so now you can see inside and the interior is actually done on these, but it's all tainted and there's taint taint the potatoes growing everywhere. I put book a lot of bookshelves in and leaves and cobwebs. Um, and overall, I think it has turned out really, really nice taint kind of coming out. And I really like this look like you can see some window, but there's like a wall, but you can't get through it. I don't know. I think that's really cool. I really like our black glass texture. And then you've got this area here. This is a, another one that is just tainted. It's very dark in there. Um, there is a, actually, well, I'll show you these when we get jump in the shaders, I'll jump into wisdom shaders cause they look freaky. So we've got this building, this building, and this building are the abandoned ones. Um, and instead of having doors, I swapped them out for iron doors or iron bars. Um, because I figured people actually were like, uh, we should block those off and make sure people don't go in them because the taint is not good for you. Um, but yes, this is, this is, this is quite nice. So let me jump into uh, the wisdom shaders and I'm going to show you what I imagine it's like going into these buildings. All right, we are here in wisdom shaders and they're really cool, but they're really weird. Um, and for this, ah, we can just break it. So this, what's really cool about these is let's go into this one. As you can see, the black glass looks a little weird. And when you go on the inside, things get a weird. This is like being transported to an, uh, like an, a, another dimension. This is so cool. I love what this looks like. I wish you could emulate this somehow, but in like vanilla no shaders, but this is super cool that we have this option to view it. I wish these shaders weren't so taxing on my computer. Um, but these are really, really cool. I really like what this looks like when you're on the inside. You're just like, I can't see it. Like you can see out a little bit, but you can't see hardly anything. I really like what this looks like. I don't know why. Anyways, let's jump into the regular shaders, which is our, if you want to know what the shaders are, it's Sildur's Vibrant Shaders version 1.18 medium. I use medium because there's not really any difference between medium and extreme, in my opinion. All right, full world tour, and we have yet to eat. Very good. So if you come back here, you can see also some taint sticking out. Um, and the back end of the temple is finished. What? This wasn't even complete at the end of this, and uh, there's a reason for it. Well, the reason is because I just forgot about it and then I realized it and then I was like, I guess I'll just do it. So the taint is actually sticking out here because in our lore, this back area is where the taint is first noticed. People noticed that there was taint happening uh, back here and this is where the first purple potato was actually discovered. And I wanted to kind of tie that back in um, to this area because I thought that was kind of a fun little thing that we could do. A little Easter egg that if you've been around for a little bit and watching this town get built up, then you would know and you would uh, you would be able to enjoy. Also, I changed the taint texture. I don't know if I ever told you, but I added green and purple little flecks into it and I think it looks really, really good. Uh, see, they're, they're green and purpley. I uh, think it looks pretty good. So let's go into the, let's go into the catacombs first. Uh, I actually finished off the pathway here. Uh, we got a fun little dock area, but I finished the pathway off. And to go into here, um, I'm going into peaceful because catacombs need to be dark and dingy. And dark and dingy means mobs everywhere. And for a world tour, I don't want to fight mobs. So this is our catacombs. And uh, I really, really love this. This is such a cool build. Uh, this introduced our uh, coffin block that I am really honestly quite proud of. I really think this is a, such a sick texture. Um, and we also have this texture here for our, I think it's the pink bed. And I think I'm going to change it to the gray bed. Um, 
And we've got a fun just catacombs here, and it's very old, abandoned, overgrown. <clears throat> okay, this dog is killing me. Anyways, here in the catacombs, we also have our first end, like a big end exposure area. Um, ooh, we should turn on connected textures. Yes, there we go. So this is one of our connected textures, if you uh, didn't know. Um, I don't play with them on because I, I'm lazy and I haven't actually changed the connected textures, but we have this for the gold block. Um, and it's more of a kingly thing. It changes from being this gold block to being this sort of like a three pattern thing. Uh, you can, when it's connected with just two, it's this and this next to each other. And then when you have three, you get the king symbol in the in the middle. And I really do think that that's pretty cool. This is where uh, King Rayan the third, I would suppose, is buried, or King Rayan the second, maybe. All right, sorry about that. Everybody's interrupting me, and it's really annoying, um, uh, but it's fine. This is just more catacombs stuff. Uh, and as you can see, we've got some of that taint stuff kind of happening, end exposure. And if we go down here, this is how you get to the end portal. Uh, this was very arduous to build and very annoying because every like nook and cranny that you can see had to be filled in with black concrete. And then, or maybe it's wool. No, it's concrete. I think it's concrete. Um, and then glass put over it. So it looks like it's just like a void, but it's actually just black concrete. Oy, and it, so you can, can come down here and then this is where the end portal is. And uh, if we can get down here just a little bit, um, this is the end room area. Uh, just kind of looks like it's all voidy and exposed. And I think that's pretty cool. I uh, actually added this in recently, so if you want to get to the nether, you can actually access it via this area here. I think that's pretty fun. And uh, how are we going to do this? Let's do it the smart way. Ooh, okay. Now let's end this a little world tour with a look at the temple itself because the temple is very cool. There's a few things in the catacombs. I guess I could show you just a little little snippet, little things around here, just fun little things, um, little fire pit for, I don't know, cremation? Sure. Um, but you got a little glimpse of it there because there's a hole into the temple area here, and I think that's pretty cool. Now, I am going to need to turn connected textures off, and I'll meet you in front of the temple, I guess. So, going into the temple, I have finished the interior off. <clears throat> Decided to do this off camera, and uh, overall, I really love how the temple has turned out. It's, I think, my favorite build to date. I think it looks really, really cool. So we've got this temple area interior where you go down. It's very simple. It, it's not supposed to be crazy intuitive to build or like crazy awesome or anything like that. It's well, it's awesome, but not supposed to be like a crazy interior. It's just kind of these things, whatever the pews. And then this giant hole. <laughs> But I just finished this off and I wanted to end it off here because this is something I've meant to do for a long time, but never got around to it until now. So I went for this like raised portion and we already had this going all the way down here. So I decided let's actually make this just a kind of a lane. And then we've got this big giant glassy area. Um, and this is a dedication to the first 500 of you that actually decided to follow my channel and to actually like pay attention to little old me and uh, I just wanted to say thank you and that this uh, this this little statue right here this little guy right here is uh, dedicated to you and uh, I just wanted to say thank you because you guys are awesome you're the reason why I do this and uh, it's it's just very fun for me to be able to do this and have people that really enjoy it. So thank you very much for that. And I think that's going to do it for this episode, guys. If uh, you like the world tour um, and want to, uh, I guess you can you can download it. I'll put a download uh, in the description. Um, you can download the 
uh, world. I'm going to put my creative world as well, Brew Labs. Uh, if you want to download that world uh, for some reason, you can download that. Uh, if you want the resource pack, there'll be up to, uh, be links in the description. I'm not going to update them to the brand brand new textures, or I might. You know what? I'll just I'll just link everything up to date now, uh, and just re up to date everything um, for you. So if you want anything and everything that is brew and build. Uh, texture wise and world wise you can get in the description but that's going to do it for this episode guys if you like it if you uh liked it feel free to leave a like in real life and uh, if you're new here and uh you liked everything that you saw and you're excited for the new stuff we're going to get into feel free to subscribe join the little family we've got going here and i'll see you guys in the next episode